dear students welcome back to bishop academy online classes today we have to start with one more topic of the second chapter history that is battle of plassey last time i told you that on next day we will get discussed over the battle of plassey which is considered as one of the decisive battles of india from this battle british succeeded in establishing their rule in india you have to know the causes of this battle battle of plassey among them the very first is fortification as i already told you in previous video that east india company established their three forts in bengal madras not bengal kolkata madras and in mumbai so the establishment of fort in calcutta create a threat to nawab of bengal as bengal provided them a lot of security against the local uh, what you call thugs or various other type of robbers etc okay so when this east india company started fortification around their trade centers okay so nawab become angry with east india company second that is misuse of the trade privileges as i already told you that in 1777 Farooq Sir that is the grandfather of Sirajuddaula okay granted the british company of farman to carry on duty free trade in bengal bihar and odisha in ex in exchange of a payment of 3000 rupees per year but the english merchant started misusing this privileges they indulged in private trade and evaded the payment of taxes two things the trade the area that has been ascribed to them okay beyond that particular area and even they decreases or you can say they do not provide full decided tax to nawab and that's why there is a chance of class third that is instigating the hindu subjects even the east india company or british under their policy of divide and rule started to instigate the hindu tenants of nawab various rich hindu businessmen like kishan das who earned the nawab's worth stand against the nawab due to the instigating of englishman next that is capture and loss of the calcutta so as you find when sirajuddaula seen it as a threat what building fort in bengal or calcutta so building fort in calcutta considered as a great threat for nawab of bengal and that's why nawab captured calcutta when this message gone to the rest of the presidency of madras and bombay so two generals from their what clive and watson both these persons come to recapture 
Calcutta. And also the gate succeeded in achieving it. And on January 9, 1757, the Britishers and Nawab signed a treaty to compromise at Delhi. Okay. And due to this treaty, both this Nawab and East India Company become suspicious of each other. Next, that is capture of Chandranagar. This Chandranagar is under control of French people. So, French East India Company captured this Chandranagar and British concluded this Chandranagar as they found it much beneficial okay and also they wanted to or you can say make a rivalry among Nawab and French that's why Clive become very clear that uh, French didn't help the Chandranagar when they acquire it and even Nawab do not interfere in the matter and due to it British attacked on Chandranagar and defeat, uh, you can say capture it in 1757 in March 77, 1757 next conspiracy against Nawab so due to effort of Lord Clive okay various conspiracies started to begin in Bengal against Nawab of Bengal. The commander of Nawab's army, Mir Jafar, also joined the conspirators okay, and along with it various other Hindu bankers and traders like Amin Chand, uh, what you call Jagat Seth, etc. stand against the Nawab and even Clive provided him a letter of false promise of 30 lakh rupees that if you come with us and help us against Nawab Sirajuddaula then we provide you 30 lakhs rupees. In the greed of this amount, Amin Chand helped home Englishmen. And due to it, Nawab had to face a number of problems. Next, that is immediate Kaj. When all the conspiracies were hatched, means completed, Clive charged Sirajud Dola against violating the treaty of 9th January 1757, to which we get discussed just before this slide. Okay, by entering into a conspiracy with the French and the Dutch. The Nawab refuted this allegation. Nevertheless, Clive marched against him. Means, under the hindrance of this treaty provision, Lord Clive annexed Bengal. Now you have to know about the result of this battle. British army under Clive succeeded in defeating Sirajuddaula in this battle. As Mir Jafar, the supreme commander of uh, Nawab of Bengal, stand aside during the battle. And Nawab didn't get the help of all its military might. Next, Mir Jafar declared as new Nawab of Bengal, which is considered as only a puppet, which could be observed by Nawab Mir Jafar itself in for coming years, and he tried to be free from the yoke of East India Company, but it could not be possible, and East India Company appointed Mir Kasim, which is the son-in-law of Mir Jafar as the new Nawab of Bengal. Next, company get a lot of wealth from treasury of Bengal. When Mir Jafar become the Bengal or what you call Nawab of Bengal, 
he gifted a lot of wealth to the britishers for their help along with it company even get diwani of bengal bihar and odisha permanently as you find before it though the company get permission to uh, what you called uh, collect tax from these provinces but they have to kept a certain share of that taxes with themselves and the rest of the amount should be gone to the treasury of bengal but due to this battle of classy now they succeeded or achieve the right to keep entire this diwani with themselves and uh, bengal have to face dual rule one that is the rule of east india company in financial matter and second the rule of nawab in administrative matter now you have to know about the kajaj of the defeat of sirajuddaula there are various kajaj among them the very first is sirajuddaula had a lot of dispute with his family members for succession of the throne of bengal his own family members hatched various type of conspiracy against him which become very fatal for nawab and even nawab could not decided the things properly second the english succeeded in winning over prominent hindu merchants and bankers like uh, raj ballab seth amin chand and raj durlab against the nawab they made false promises to these merchants and bankers and due to it all these persons came under influence of east india company next calcutta after the capture from the english was put under weak and corrupt officer like manik chand so here you find mir jafar when get a victory over englishman in calcutta okay so at that time he could not get benefit of acquiring that particular fort of calcutta or control over british trade as the person like manik chand get what involved in corruption continuously and didn't did never provide true information to nawab next no efforts was ever made to help the french of chandranagar against the british when the british annexed chandranagar nawab never interfere in that matter and that's why when what the british or english annexed or you can say tried to capture or fight the battle of plassey the french didn't support nawab of bengal even when mir jafar caught in conspiracy against nawab several times nawab never took severe action against him that's why nawab or what you called mir jafar become too much uh, what you called uh, disloyal to nawab and considered him as a weak ruler okay and make a question mark over the capability of nawab next the naval power and superior strategy of british also proved fatal for him british have modern army with modern weapons and also the british army is too much disciple that's why they get succeeded in getting a victory over the army of sirajuddaula it is the what you called the uh, worst example of this loyalty that in battle the supreme commander of nawab of bengal stand aside during battle with englishman though the englishman get victory in this battle of plassey but they never considered themselves as the true winner in india 
later they have to fought one more decisive battle that is come to be known as battle of buxar to which we get discussed in next video thank you for watching this video you have to just read your book to understand the things very clearly and if you have still remain some confusion you could ask it to me in next classes